Hello everyone. In this video lecture, let us solve a steady state two dimensional heat transfer with conduction problem in console. Here I have given the geometry of the problem statement. We have the uh, rectangle with a width of 0.6 meter and height of 1 meter. The left side is insulated and the top and the right side we maintain temperature at 0 degrees Celsius here there is a convection happens here and here these two boundaries and here we are maintaining the boundary at temperature of 100 degrees Celsius let us solve the problem using console <coughs> open your console click on model is a click on two dimensional under heat transfer click on heat transfer in solids add click on study and select stationary since we are going to solve a problem on steady state click on done <coughs> now let us create a geometry of rectangle with a width of 0 0.6 meter and height of 1 meter right click on geometry click on rectangle let us change the width as 0 0.6 meter and the height let it be 1 meter click on build on build all objects we have created we have created geometry now let us click on heat transfer solids under solids <coughs> solids the entire material entire material by default it is selected and with us we have thermal conductivity of the material let us change it from from material to user defined the value of K is given in the problem statement as 52 watt per meter degree Celsius. <coughs> Let us type it here 52. Then anything else. We no need to define density and CP since our problem don't include these values here. Then under initial value, we no need to change anything. Then thermal insulation. We have only one thermal insulation. Let us no need to correct anything on thermal insulation. Let us now select the boundary. Click on physics. Select boundary. Let us first select heat flux. Click on heat flux. <coughs> we know that these two boundaries are maintained at 0 degrees Celsius. Let us select these two boundaries 1 and 2. And here we have selected boundary 3 and 4. Here, a uh, flux type. It is a convective heat flux. Let us define value of H here. That is given by the problem statement. 750 watt per meter square degree Celsius. 750 watt per meter square degree Kelvin. And the temperature. It is given the problem statement at zero degree celsius we define these two boundary now next we have to define left hand side boundary as per the problem statement left hand side is insulated and bottom is at 100 degrees celsius now again click on boundary select temperature and this boundary is maintained at temperature of 100 degrees celsius 100 degree Celsius. Now we have successfully defined our parameters of boundaries. Now just click on the thermal insulation. All other parameters like boundaries 2, 3, and 4 are overridden, and only boundary 1 is insulated, that is as per the problem statement. Now click on mesh and click on mapped and click on build all now our message generated by default we have all the missing parameter now go to the study 
and click on compute yeah by default the console itself has generated two dimensional heat map here and if you want to change the temperature from kelvin to degree celsius come down click on expand temperature click on surface under units you can select degree celsius and click on plot now you can check at the bottom we have maximum temperature of 100 degrees celsius near to the bottom we have the temperature gradient here and if you want to locate if you want to know the temperature at different location let us look at different way here for that click on results then click on cut point 2d let me locate this point now the point let me select this in x axis it is uh, 0 0.6 and the y axis it is 0 0.2 if you click on plot you can see that i have located similarly you can choose the different location in our surface now i want to know the temperature at this point now click on numerical in that click on point evaluation and select data set to cut point 2d which we have created and you can change the unit in degree celsius Now, now click on evaluate this state. Similarly, you can change the different location and you can plot the group. We can plot the, we can find the temperature at different location. Suppose if you want to plot your temperature profile along the any direction, what you can do is click on results and the data set are here. You can click on cut line 2D. And I want to draw a line here. The first point lies x equal to 0 0.3 and y equal to 0. Then second point lies at x equal to same 0 0.3 and y equal to it is 1. And you can check the line by right? clicking on flat. So that is the along this length I want to know the temperature profile. So I created the data set. Then right click on temperature. <coughs> Sorry. Then under the cells 1D plot group. Click on 1D plot group. Then right click on 1D plot group. Line graph. Under data set, select cut line 1D and I want to plot temperature in the y axis that is by default it is selected. And temperature you want you want to express in terms of degree Celsius, you can select degree Celsius and the x axis that is the arc length it is given. Now click on the plot and you can see here along the length at the bottom we know the temperature is maximum that is 100 degrees Celsius as the y axis increases, the temperature drops to 0 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.